The nearly insatiable consumer demand for higher data rates will cause the global internet traffic to grow three and a quarter fold from 2014 to 2019. So in 2019, three trillion minutes or five million years of video content will cross the internet globally each month. That's 977,095 minutes of videos streamed or downloaded every second. How are operators preparing to support this massive increase in data consumption? What are the concerns? The increase in internet traffic puts a tremendous strain on broadband infrastructure and on home equipment. Cable customer premises equipment, such as set-top boxes, cable modems, and home gateways, must meet a set of ever-rising challenges to deliver the data necessary to support an ever-increasing number of devices. In order to support the high demand for data consumption, the DOCSIS 3.1 standard released in October of 2013 has stipulated strict requirements for customer premise equipment by increasing the data rates, channels, and modulation schemes. Peregrine switches are the only RF switches offered today that can ease this transition and meet the stringent requirements of the DOCSIS 3.1 standard. These switches address the industry-wide challenge with cable standard transition, infrastructure refresh, and bandwidth upgrade. Previously, cable CPE equipment manufacturers could only make products that could only support one upstream-downstream band at a time, because no switch had met the DOCSIS linearity requirements necessary to support dual up-down bands. In order to upgrade a service plan, a customer first needs to upgrade to a box that supports the up-down band for higher data services. This requires a physical hardware change, and the incentive to merely try out a better service is very low. However, the PE42722 and PE42723 meet the DOCSIS 3.1 performance requirements and permit dual up-down bands to reside in the same box, allowing the cable service provider to merely flip a switch and let the customer easily upgrade or try a new higher data rate service. How is this solution possible? Old hardware boxes contain a single upstream-downstream band, which is filtered immediately after the signal is received from the cable. In order to incorporate any band select architecture, a switch must be placed by the F connector. Cable CPE vendors can implement the dual band architecture while meeting the DOCSIS 3.1 requirements if the switch meets the key linearity specifications of negative 115 dBc. The new PE42723 exceeds these requirements with specs of negative 121 dBc for the second harmonic and negative 140 dBc for the third harmonic. In addition to the exceptional harmonic performance, this 5 to 1794 MHz SBDT RF switch also features a 64% reduction in footprint over its predecessor, has low insertion loss of 0.1 dB at 204 MHz, and high isolation of 54 dB at 204 MHz. It also has high return loss of 30 dB at 204 MHz, high power handling of 85 dBmV, very low power consumption of 130 microamps and features standard 1.8 or 3.3 volt logic support while operating without any performance degradation over a 2.3 volt to 5.5 volt power supply voltage. As expected of Ultra CMOS products, the PE42723 has superior ESD performance, 3 kV human body model, on all pins. The PE42723's unmatched linearity performance is enabled by Ultra CMOS, the only technology capable of addressing the linearity challenge of the future. With our history of innovation, we've achieved an industry first in linearity that can provide the cutting edge solution necessary to solve an industry wide problem. We solve the RF market's biggest challenges superior performance higher reliability, exceptional linearity, ultra CMOS switches.